Hi, good good afternoon. Today I'm going to show you how to use the producer consumer design pattern in LabVIEW. First you click on file, then new, and then you choose producer consumer design pattern data. And click OK. Now you have uh, the consumer pr the producer consumer loop design pattern. Now you just need to configure it to do what, what you want it to do. This design pattern is useful because it, it uh, allows you to analyze data without any data loss in the process. So what you need to do is first you need to look for uh, or to uh, a converter to a, a VI that converts a value to a variant. You use this because you need to assign a, a data type to the, to the, the producer-consumer loop, to the producer-consumer design pattern, and uh, this allows you to assign any data type to that pattern without specifying uh, which data pattern is, is using uh, at the moment. Like you can use any data, any data type with this uh, convert to variant. Now you, let's say we're going to use a number. So we, we select from the numeric palette, we select a double numeric constant. And then we connect it to, uh, to variant converter. Now, in this part, we eliminate the uh, case structure. We, we select remove case structure. We, delete, we remove the wires and we remove the, the false statement. Now we delete the string, remove the wi uh, broken wires, and we connect. We have to add a, a here we need to add a numeric indicator. And in here, we need to add a um, random number. We connect the random number to, to the element inside the, um, the NQ element. And in here, we, we connect, we, we select uh, the, uh, the from variant. We look for vari vari variant to data. Then we we connect the uh, variant in a variant. We connect this cable, and now from the variant to data, we connect the data to a numeric indicator, and that that's it. Now we click on run. And as you see, there is no data loss. It's uh, grabbing all the values from the from the random number as as they enter. So, thanks for watching. Bye. That's it. Bye.